Jim, we, uh, we haven't touched base and talked about current stuff in a little bit. I think we should, uh, mention that, Hey, the, since we've uh, sat down and recorded, there's big news out there. Yeah. Rick Flair is a part of AEW as a part of the woo energy drink campaign. I guess that's going to begin alongside AEW. Maybe the announcers will have it at their desk and it'll be at the, you know, post fight press conferences and things like that on the big pay-per-views and either way though, woo energy, Rick Flair, AEW. A lot of people didn't have this on their bingo card. Yeah, I did. But uh, it's good timing, you know, with uh, Sting having his last match around the corner. What do you think of this announcement that the nature boy is an AEW? Well, I'm glad he's there. He'll be fun to be around and, and he's always uh, entertaining. He's there's only one H so, and he's it. And, uh, Tony Khan's got him. So I was pleasantly surprised that Rick signed. I wasn't sure what he was going to do because I really believe, and this is going to sound negative and I don't want to sound negative that his wrestling days are essentially over. Yeah. Uh, I, a 70 something. I'm 70 something. I get it. Uh, what's I got some news on that coming up here in a second or two. Yes. Uh, but you know, I'm glad he's with us. So, you know, he's a, he's a, you can't get a, a lifetime talent daily. You just can't, there aren't, they're not out there. They're not available. And so I'm glad that for Rick's sake that he's got, he's, he's got a, a good sponsor, a good backup guy. Tony Khan's Tony Khan's a huge Ric Flair fan and who isn't. So, uh, pleasantly surprised that he's with us. Don't look for any matches out of him, but I think that he can contribute more than the, the vast majority of the populace in his world of, in his vocation, uh, and, and never wrestle. That's just me. And he's a star. Rick Flair is a star. And when he's on your TV, he, he brightens this star. 